equipments that uh, use heat exchangers to refrigerate the fluid of that equipment. The generators. The generator is a diesel or gasoline engine connected to a big alternator. Okay, the generators, the, the main engines, of course. Uh, the air condition equipment. Yes, in the air condition equipment, you have a circulation of salt water, circulation of salt water around the pipes with, uh, with Freon. We are going to study uh, later uh, in the book of our, uh, air condition, that system. Yes, the, uh, the air condition equipments, the marine air condition equipments, they have a heat exchanger to decrease the temperature of the refrigerant in the system. Salt water, circulation of salt water, yes. In the air conditioned equipment, we have exactly the same. We have a, a seacock, we have a strainer, we have raw water pump, we have, ah. For that reason, the life of those equipment depend how is corro corroded the equipment. This is the boat, this is the hull of the boat. This is the hull of the boat. And we are going to install uh, internally in the block and the head we only have circulation, circulation, circulation of coolant, circulation of coolant, circulation of coolant, the coolant here, the thermostat is located here, and uh, this is the, the ro uh, this is the coolant pump or fresh water pump or circulating pump. Yeah, the coolant pump circulates the coolant, the coolant goes outside, the coolant goes outside into the radiator outside of, of the boat. The radiator is submerged in the salt water, this radiator, the coolant circulate over there and return, return and once again circulate internally in the block and once again goes up. In other words, in the exhaust, in this type of system, the exhaust, I don't need heat exchanger. I don't need heat exchanger because, uh, because uh, my radiator is located outside of the boat. What is the secret in that system? The secret is this radiator, the, the, the radiator located outside. Okay, we are going to check what happened in that system. Uh, this is an, another good picture about uh, this system. This closed circuit cooling system eliminates the need for inboard heat exchanger, of course, and no, no raw water pumps and no strainers. And uh, also the maintenance is too simple. And uh, internally, if you check the engine room, the engine room is clean, no corrosion. The, uh, this is, a, this is the, in my opinion, uh, the most important part of this system. This radiator is located outside. This radiator is located outside in contact with the, with the salt water. Okay, and uh, you don't need raw water pump because you don't, you, you don't need circulate raw water pump internally. But uh, you need the coolant pump. The, the fresh water pump. You need this this pump, no? The the, the the coolant pump. The coolant pump circulate the coolant internally in the block and send the coolant outside to the radiator. In this system, it's very common added a couple of filters. A couple of filters. Uh, those filters are very important because those filters are water separators. Remember that the, the density of uh, of uh, the coolant is higher than the density of, uh, of the water. Uh, if you have a, a coolant mixed with water, uh, the water goes in the bottom and the coolant on top. And uh, it's easy to identify if you have those water separators, if you have a, a concentration of water, and immediately you need to stop the engine and uh, check the radiator externally, probably remove the radiator, send to the machine shop, and after that put it back the radiator. And yeah, the, 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 the strainers are very, very important in order to verify the migration of salt water into the coolant. And, uh, and you have another, another uh, filter here. This is for bypass. Uh, this is when, when, when we need to isolate the system and, uh, and, uh, and do the service uh, on, the, on the external radiator, on the heat exchanger. Uh, other important uh, uh, function of uh, the strainers is verify the color the color of the coolant. It's, uh, it's important that uh, you keep clear uh, those filters in order to check if the coolant is moving, if the coolant doesn't have bubbles. Remember, the enemy of the majority of the fluids is the bubbles, the air, and uh, identify that the, the salt water is not mixed with the coolant. 
uh, this is other point of, a, of inspection that you need added in your list when you are inside of the engine room and yes and, and the, the, the welding in between those pipes is with silver brass silver brass yeah and uh, there are other yeah the copper nickel the copper nickel units are welded with silver brass this is for copper nickel and uh, there are all uh, external radiators like this in aluminum in a special alloy of aluminum and of course the, the the, the welding in those alloys should be with pure aluminum. Yes, there are uh, external radiators for keel cooling system in aluminum and external radiators for keel cooling system fabricated in copper nickel alloys. Okay?